What's up, guys? Inquisitor Z Mark here, bringing you the newest game from Blob Game Studios. This is the alpha release. Not a whole lot going on. As you can see here, it's version 0.01. It's a pretty neat game from what I've been playing with it. It sucks on my computer and it's really laggy, but I hope you guys can bear with me here. So, um, first thing you need to know everything is controlled by your keyboard here. So, you don't get to use your mouse, unfortunately, but that's okay. You can use a mouse while you're actually in the game. Uh, you got four four modes here, Adventure, Battle, Training, and Options. The only thing that you need to know here is that for Adventure, uh, there's no icon because it does not work yet. Battle mode works only if you have another player with you, and I'm not really sure how that would be set up. But training, training works great. So what you want to do is you come in here, and as you can see, it's kind of the same setup as Super Smash Bros. Um, there's a whole lot of empty spaces here because they plan on adding a bunch of characters from all these different independent games that have been released. And there's a lot of really cool characters they're going to be putting in, from what I understand. So you got your little uh, red dot here that you use to select your character. So we're going to go to the blue blob. Some things you should know, uh, you can turn teams on and off if you want. Uh, you can fight, I don't know if you can change your game mode or the amount of lives and time that you have. I can't really do anything with the settings yet, which is fine. Uh, but if you go and fight, you have 10 stages you can select from, so we're going to select the training stage. Let's Ready, of stuff. set, go! Okay, so as you can see, we're running around, we can jump. We can, let's see, do attacks, okay, that works, and specials. I'm not real sure what specials do, but that's alright. Anyway, so as we're sitting here and doing all sorts of weird stuff to this guy, um, you do have special abilities that you can do, you got, um, Let's see. D doesn't really do anything. S doesn't do anything. But you can use your shield. It's a basic setup like a Super Smash Brothers, except better because you know all the characters are going to have special attacks and they're going to have their own little things they can do. Um, you can play with more than one person. If you do adventure mode, you got stages, I'm sure, with a whole bunch of characters that you can play with. It's just really interesting. It's the first KGB game that Blob Game Studios came out with, and uh, they do have a lot of plans for this. As you can see, it's really basic. There really isn't a whole lot going on yet, but then again, you got to give them a chance. It's only version 0.01. The only time you can really use your mouse is when you open up this menu, which is fine. So you can go back to your main menu. Um, some of the characters do not have special attacks. Some of them cannot taunt. There is a taunting function in this. Um, but the options is pretty good. They got, you know, you can change your quality, you can change your volume, you can delete your save data, you can change your, your input for your players. You know, it's got Xbox 360, or just Xbox, I think it is, and uh, PlayStation support. So there's a lot of really neat stuff you can do with this game. But um, I do know that they're having a hard time building the AI right now. That's why Adventure Mode isn't available. But this game is going to be really neat, guys. They're going to have a lot of really cool characters in here. Um, I'm sure that the Adventure Mode is going to be pretty freaking awesome. They've got some really neat stages, some really neat stuff that's already got going on. Uh, you can jump, double jump. you got special attacks. You know, you got your up arrow keys, combos. It's just like a really well-built, more modern version of like a Mortal Kombat or a Super Smash Brothers or something to that effect. But um, it's definitely worth looking into, even though it's version 0.01. Um, you got a lot of cool stuff you can do in this game. A lot of neat uh, scenes and scenarios. I look at this guy. He's got a jetpack and a minigun. I want to see what this can do. Oh well. To the fights. And like you like I said, they got different stuff here. Ready, set, go! Okay. Now as you can see there's not a whole lot of noise going on. Oh, you can fly. Look at that. That's uh, pretty neat, actually. I guess I can't use the 
minigun yet. This must be one of the characters that they got the, um, the specials aren't completed with yet. This is what it looks like it is. Oh, no, there we go. You gotta stand still when you do it. You can just sit there and hit people all day if you want to, I guess. It's pretty cool, though. They got some stuff going on. There's, they got this map. Uh, let's see here. Survival! Free for all! Let's see, they got... Okay, so as you can see, they got just a basic training arena, which is from this game. You got Showdown, Retro Lands, Green Boy Field, Final Rift. Then you got the Sanctum from Legend of the Artifact. You got Matt's Room from... I don't, know, where is that? I don't even know what game that's from, I couldn't read that. Um, Banadote. Central Town from Dragonia. Show from Tess, from Emblem. So as you can see, they're pulling a lot of stuff from all these different independent game developers. They're trying to pull in all their characters and all that fun stuff. So this game's got a lot of potential. It's got a lot of plans. It's got a lot of stuff. This is one game that's definitely going to go somewhere. So I encourage you guys to look into this because I sure am going to look into this. They got it on Steam Greenlight right now. I'm going to put the link in the description for you guys. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, please upvote on this because this is one game I want to really be able to play later on that's completed and that's and stuff. Uh, so, I can, once again, please green light. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Um, check the links down below for Omar Pone's channel who has helped me make the intro video for this. And uh, thanks to Bob Game Studios for being able to provide the demo so that I can do the video here. Uh, be sure to check out their channel. They got some really cool games that they do updates on and all that fun stuff. So you guys have a great day, and we'll see you around. This video is supported by Omar Pond, a member of Blob Games Studio.